Next week is Thanksgiving. Food! But my husband won't be able to join me due to his work schedule, so I'm making his own mini feast for him so he can have it whenever he wants. <laughs> make it pie. Yep. I'm thinking maybe his mom's apple pie will make it better. I didn't want you to have to wait around while I was coring apples because I'm really slow. And it's a good thing too because I peeled over my pinky. Still not sure how that happened. While that's baking, let me show you some of the other things that I did this week. Also wanted to say that today is Mickey Mouse's birthday, so happy birthday Mickey! See you real soon! Watch out, this one will have you feeling it in certain places over the next couple of days. Snow Angel! This doesn't feel like a pillow. Do you notice something other than the mess? That's new. I love it. Now just to fill it up. I also got this today, which is the reason that I'm wearing this shirt. It's Dingle Hopper Cream from Alchemy Bath. I was wondering if I was ever going to get this, but I got it and I'm really excited to use it. There's also a soap in here. And let me just show you the paper on this. Isn't that really cute? Disney has even made its way into my bath products now. Yikes. Also from Alchemy Bath, my sister-in-law sent me chocolate frog soap. I already ran my Harry Potter run but it's never too late for chocolate frog soap or chocolate frogs. So confession time. I was laying in bed last night thinking I've gotten so much accomplished today and then I remembered I didn't check off the day on my workout calendar that I've been showing you guys. So I grabbed my marker to cross it off and realized that yesterday was a double workout, strength and a run and I only did strength. And within the next five minutes after realizing that I had missed it, 
I was texting my trainer because I was feeling really guilty. And then came the angel devil argument. You know, the angel on this shoulder telling me, you know, you don't have that long left. You better do your run. And the devil on this shoulder saying, oh no, Meredith, you don't need to do that run. You went shopping and cleaned your kitchen. There, you know, you worked hard enough. <sighs> then I finally just decided that the internal war going on in my brain was worse than actually making up the workout. So, hush over here. Angel's gonna win. So, I'm gonna be pulling double duty today. Three miles and then a low intensity of 30 minutes. So, I better get started. Remember in week two's video, when I referenced the dog with the bone? If not, I'll link it above. Well, with all this Thanksgiving food prep, I may want to amend that bone to green bean casserole. Mm. Yep, that does the trick. I'm picking up speed already. Is it over? Next week, I'll be at my parents' lake house for Thanksgiving, which means I better pack my stretchy pants and my running shoes because there's going to be a lot of both eating and running on the schedule. Here's to hoping that one of them offsets the other at least a little bit. I mean, I hear that food is fuel, so to me that means the more you run, the more you get to eat to fill up the tank. Challenge accepted. Although, I think it's supposed to be healthy food and there's a limit. Since we hit the 100 days until Princess Half Marathon weekend, on Tuesday of this week, I will start showing a miles run and a day countdown at the end of each video. Time's up. <laughs> <This gonna be good. laughs> yes it is, and so will next week's video. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when it's ready. Give me a like or a comment. As for me, I've got a pie to deliver. Hope it makes it.